Hey guys, what's up? Hi guys, what's up? My name's Amanda and welcome back to Tokyo. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name's Amanda and I make videos about Tokyo. I make lifestyle, fashion, and just everyday, you know, day-to-day -day living in Japan. So if you're interested in something like that, check out my other videos and subscribe below. So what am I doing today? And Amanda, why haven't you brushed your hair yet? Well, there's a reason for that. Today I'm going to a Tokyo hair salon, and not just any Tokyo hair salon, you guys, because I have been to many, and let me tell you, it is a nightmare. Yes, the service is great. Yes, uh, the quality is great, but the problem is communicating what you want done. <laughs> Ever, first time in three years since moving to Japan, I will be going to an English speaking salon. Yes, finally! Again, like I've, I've been to other Japanese hair salons and everyone's been really nice, but they've never been able to deliver the results that I wanted or, um, you know, the style that I wanted. One, probably because my communication, my Japanese communication sucks. In my experience, Japanese hairstylists are a little bit nervous about foreigner hair only because they don't deal with it from a day-to-day -day basis. They are a little bit timid about coloring and mainly coloring actually. Uh, for the longest time I've wanted um, gray hair um, and, and I tried to achieve that at other Japanese hair salons but never were they able to achieve it. Um, today I am just getting something new. I don't really have an image in my head. I have some ideas that I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to show my hairstylist my ideas and but I'm really gonna just let him go for it I think because um, again I don't have any particular color or style that I'm looking for. Where are you going Amanda? Hello, tell us. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, what is it called? Assort Harajuku, so it's in Harajuku. I'll put the link and information down below so if you guys like my experience today feel free to go. So what is the process of going to a hair salon anywhere or just in Tokyo in general? Well there is a process and I'm going to tell you. Ta -ta! First we have to pack the bag because okay you are never going to know how long you're going to be in the salon. So. Of course, I gotta get, bring my wallet, gotta bring some vitamins, gotta bring some pens, gotta bring that phone charger, cause you know that's gonna die. What else? Oh, got my camera battery charger, got some vitamin B, keep my energy up. This is like, maybe this is a what's in my bag video. Now we need to go on to step two, before you leave to go to the salon. So, let's do that now. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but probably you can't tell because it's pretty obvious my hair is a little bit dirty. My hair is dirty, but I don't want to wash it before going to the salon. Wait, since I might be lightening my hair, I don't want to like, like strip it of all the oils. Hey Amanda, what dry shampoo are you using? Well, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm going to put some dry shampoo on. This is Clean Freak Refreshing Shampoo, which I have yet to find in Japan. So if you guys know where I can find this in Japan, please let me know. Okay, so just going to put some at the top. See? Looking a little bit better now. And, ah, oh, it smells good. Hey! Who doesn't need a haircut? Who doesn't need a hair color? Uh, somebody else, because I do. This is the next step four before you go to the Japanese hair salon. So, what you need to do, very, very important, Clean your ears, people. They will get in there and clean your ears and <laughs> you do not want your ears to be dirty. So, clean your ears before you go to the hair salon because after shampooing, conditioning, they're gonna get in there. So you wanna present yourself as a, a well manicured, 100% hygienic, clean your ears every day woman. Clean ears, ready to go. So now that the essentials are done, bag is packed, ears are clean, hair is less dirty, I think I'm ready to go because there is one more thing that we need before going to the salon. So let's go get it. Okay, so I'm walking there now. It's going to take me about 10 minutes to walk there. Um, I need to hurry. I need to actually like be there in like 15 minutes. But um, there's one thing that I wanted to get before actually going to the salon, which is a snack because I'm going to be in there for a while and I haven't eaten yet today so hopefully on the way I can find a snack um, and then yeah gotta hurry time to go 
because I have some work stuff to do and I don't okay, think okay, they will okay, like okay. the pink. Oh. I am open to ideas. Okay, okay. You always do gray color. Uh, you mean to cover my grays? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh. What do you think will be good for me? Oh, what kind of job I do? Uh, well, I teach English. And then the pink. Okay. And then okay. Okay. Pinky gold. Okay, yeah, yeah, pinky, yeah. Yeah, then after pay us, it will be more. Yeah, something like this. Okay, yeah. that's good. <laughs> yeah. You want to cut adjustments? Length, yes, because right now it's a little bit long, oh, I think. Okay. Um, and also more um, because I, I cut them myself. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, You're very really good. <laughs> no, I just, um, I had this like razor and I just. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I've been <laughs> cutting this too because the okay. damage, <laughs> unfortunately. Wow. I was impatient, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah. Such a good job. I'm really happy. I think the first time in a long time, I'm really happy with my hair. I'm waiting for here. I'm working at Harajuku. There he is. Bye-bye. 